Hello, hope you're doing okay. Um, if I remember rightly this morning, I think we are continuing with Freddie's lockdown guide. Are we Freddie? No, we're not. Sorry, I think we've had a bit of a miscommunication here. What's, what's the problem, Fred? Okay, you don't feel like doing a lockdown guide because you're feeling sad. Oh dear, that doesn't sound very good. What's wrong? You feeling sad about your friend Uman? Because she doesn't want to be your friend anymore. Oh dear, that's really sad, Freddie. Did she tell you that? Well, how, how do you know she doesn't want to be your friend? You just know. Two things. Okay, well, are you going to tell us what they are and then maybe we can sort this out? She doesn't want to be your friend anymore because she didn't laugh at your jokes. Well, I find that really hard to believe because your jokes are normally very funny, Freddie. Oh, these ones were particularly funny. You want to tell us them? Okay, let's, uh, let's hear them then. What's the first one? What do you call a wet teddy? I don't know, Freddie. What do you call a wet teddy? A drizzly bear. Yeah, um, yeah, very funny, Freddie. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> You've got another. There's a surprise. What's the next one? Why did the teddy say no to pudding? Well, I, I don't know. Why did the teddy say no to pudding? Because he was stuffed. Oh dear, okay, and um, the third one? What do you call a teddy with no teeth? I don't know, I can't think. Do you know what you call a teddy with no teeth? <sighs> a gummy bear. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm really glad you find them funny, but you, you're saying Umman didn't find them funny. No, well, she didn't laugh. Well, maybe she, maybe she just, um, maybe it wasn't about you. Maybe she just wasn't in the mood for jokes. Had you thought about that? No, can you think of any other reasons why she might not have laughed? Maybe she didn't understand the jokes. Yeah, maybe, maybe she didn't understand them. Maybe she was feeling a bit sad that day and she just didn't want to laugh and she, she was maybe just feeling a bit sad and a bit low. Sometimes not everybody wants jokes all the time, do they? It might, you might have just caught her at a bad time. Did you ask her what the problem was? You just felt upset, but you didn't ask her. No, well, you said there was two reasons why you think she doesn't want to be your friend. What was the other one? Because you sent her a message and she hasn't got back to you yet. Well, when, when did you send the message? Yesterday. Okay, that's not very long. Have you ever sent a message or have you ever had someone send you a message and then you haven't got back to them? Yes, maybe. Maybe once or twice. Okay, so why, when you were in that situation, why was it that you hadn't res responded to the message straight away? Sometimes you kind of forgot. Okay, so you forgot. Any other reasons why you might not have responded straight away? Sometimes you didn't see the message. Okay, yeah, I can see that that would happen. And then other times you kind of forgot. Okay, any other reasons? Oh, sometimes you had something else to do and it kind of slipped your mind and you kind of forgot. So you're assuming that just because Uman hasn't got back to you, she doesn't want to be your friend. But actually, sometimes you've not got back to other people and you've just kind of forgot. So maybe Uman forgot too. Oh, do you think that might be possibly the case? Maybe, you don't know. Well, I think the difficulty is, Freddie, that sometimes we can jump to conclusions 
about what's happening with people when we don't actually know what's going on in their mind. So you saw Umma not laughing at your jokes and you thought it was because she didn't like you, but there could be another explanation. And you felt sad that she didn't get back to you straight away, but there could be all sorts of reasons for that. And it could be that she, she likes you perfectly well. And maybe she just forgot, like you have done sometimes. So perhaps there is a little bit of a help for us during lockdown there, because I think it's sometimes quite difficult to tell what people are thinking. And sometimes if we're spending more time in at a distance from people or um, online with people, we can actually misunderstand what's going on then, can't we too? And it's really easy to jump to conclusions or to make judgments about what's going on for people. I heard a saying once that said, you shouldn't really judge people unless you've walked in their shoes. What do you think about that? You think it'd be quite difficult to walk in your shoes? Why is that? Oh, you've, you've got, a sh oh, this is one of your slippers, Freddie, isn't it? Now, can you imagine me trying to walk in that? I think it would be quite funny, wouldn't it? Because I don't know how I would even get it on my toe, never mind on my foot. But yeah, it's really hard, isn't it, to imagine what's going on in somebody else's mind unless we actually have experienced it. So maybe at the moment, it's just really important that we take extra care to talk to one another and communicate with one another so that we can find out what's going on rather than jumping to wrong conclusions. So how would it be if you talked to Uman later, maybe tried to have a chat with her on the phone or um, send her another message and just remind her and just see how she's doing. Do you think that might help? Yeah, I think it might too, because I think you're gonna find out that actually she does want to be your friend. And I think you've perhaps maybe made a bit of a wrong judgment there, do you? So perhaps that's something for all of us to think about at the moment. Maybe when you're tempted to make a judgment about something, you could just stop for a minute, especially if it's a negative judgment, and wonder whether there might be something else going on. And perhaps we'll find out that some of the things that we're worried about, they're not actually the case, that people do like us, that they do care about us, that they are interested in us. And let's try and believe the best, shall we, about those around us. Let's just bow our heads for a prayer. Dear God, will you help us in this time to not make judgments about people that are negative, but to really listen and to try and understand each other and where we're all coming from. And will you help us to be kind to one another and to look after one another and to just feel a real sense of your peace in our hearts. Amen. So Freddie, there's something for us to think about this week as we think about the people around us, just thinking about what judgments we're making, how we might come to the wrong conclusions and how we can maybe stop and think and work out what, what might really be going on. And most importantly of all, talk to each other and communicate. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.